energy, but hopefully not too much energy. Yes, sir. Um, can, can you talk about the, the bats? Um, Coach mentioned, you know, doesn't know if what he sees in practice is good or bad yeah. because, he, you know, it's either good pitching or good hitting. Right. Can you tell me what your opinions are as far as the bats go right now? Do you have first week? No, I, I really like them, you know. I mean, we uh, last year's first shipment we got in, we weren't 100% positive what was going on. The BB course had just been uh, instituted in college baseball, so we weren't quite sure what was going on. We, we didn't really feel comfortable, and then the next year we came in, we felt a little bit more comfortable. I think everyone feels really good about what to expect and, and how everything feels. So, yeah, I mean, I, I think that it's... Um, it's, it's, we've gotten used to it now, and now it's the norm, and we're not missing it. You know, oh, man, miss the old bats. Just kind of, you know what, this is what we're seeing. And, uh, and Easton's done a great job working with us and getting feedback from us and getting feedback from them and working with each other. And, and uh, I mean, I think the bats feel awesome, and we're ready to go. How good is the offense going to be um, as far as, you know, what do you think? Are you going to be a power kind of team? Are you going to be a small ball kind of team? What do you think you're going to be? Uh, I mean, I think we're just going to be an all-around good offense. You know, I, mean, I think that uh, we're going to have a lot of speed. You know, I think we're, we're going to be a fast team like always and uh, hopefully we're going to put a lot of balls in the gap and, and beat a lot of balls out and just be an exciting offense to watch. You know, I don't think we're going to be a, a big <laughs> bruising, hitting, everyone's hitting 20 home runs a piece, but I mean, I will we'll run some balls out of the yard and we'll, but we'll, you know, I mean, we're going to be definitely a gap to gap kind of team and uh, steal a lot of bags and, and just be a really fun, high paced offense. It's yeah, like I was gonna say. I was gonna say. I guess does it make it easier to know you got the kind of staff? It sounds like you have that you guys can maybe have some time to get your groove a little bit, where you're not having to go out there and just have to try to make manufacture runs right away. Yeah, you know, it's nice to it's nice to have uh, a bunch of donkeys on the mound to fall back <laughs> on. But you know, I mean, we're we're uh, we're a prideful group on offense, and we don't want to we don't want to have to be carried. You know, I mean, we want. We want to supply a lot of offense and give the pitchers a lot of comfort out there to know that they got a little cushion. Um, so hopefully we want to reverse that. You know, we want to make the pitchers feel as comfortable as possible. So, you know, we, um, you know, we're going to be really aggressive, and I think we'll be uh, a lot better on offense than I think some people give us credit for. So, who are some of the younger guys on the offense who impressed you in the last couple of weeks? Uh, you know, I mean, we have a lot of guys that made really big strides. You know, we, obviously we have a lot of young guys. Um, I mean, I can honestly say I think every freshman and sophomore who didn't play last year or knew the program has made tremendous strides from the beginning of the fall. Um, you know, I think uh, like Tyler Slayton's made great jumps, Mike Triller, Bullware, Bomb. All, I mean, it's it's it would take me all day to, to talk about these kids because I mean they've really put in a lot of work, and I'm really proud of these guys. And um, you know, I think that says a lot that they're really excited to get going and. Uh, hopefully they've been taken after like what some of us older guys the kind of work ethic that we have and I think as a team we're working really hard and uh, I'm just really excited to get going. So you feel like you're, you feel like you're at home being back at third base? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you know, I mean it's uh, it's definitely really nice to know I got to make the longer run across the diamond in between innings, you know. So, uh, <laughs> um, but no, you know I'm really excited about it. I've been working really hard um, and all the coaches have been. Uh, real patient with me, and they've been feeding me fungo after fungo after fungo, and rep after rep, and so um, you know, and then, uh, me and whoever else is over there at third working out. I mean, we push each other, and we're all getting better, and so I'm really excited to get it, get it going over there at third. So yeah, definitely. You have to go extra conditioning to make that long <laughs> journey over to third. <laughs> yeah, a little <laughs> bit. You know. <laughs> what, what does a guy like Riddle bring to the top of the lineup? So what he's the one guy who stood out in the outfield for you guys right now. 